Hola, buenos dias. Good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you could join me for another planner video. As always, it's your girl here, Daniela, aka Four Lizard. And today I'm going to be sharing with you a complete flip through of two planners that were in my 2021 planner lineup last year. This one, this is the Stephanie Nicole Passion, Creativity, and Dreams vertical planner and this one this is an undated mickey mouse planner um and i actually just started this one in may of last year so it's only you know uh half of the year here uh, but this one I started um, actually in, I think, January of 2021, so it's a complete year of planner spreads. Um, so if you're interested in checking out um, these two planners, my flip-throughs of the entire year for uh, these two planners that were in my planner lineup last year, just keep on watching. So I got my cafecito here on the side. I also got my crystal hearts over here, sending you some love energy. So um, I don't know if you caught it, but a couple of weeks ago, I uploaded a 2021 general planner review of my entire happy planner lineup in 2021. And just, I went through all the planners that I used. I actually was uh, using 15 different planners in my happy planner solar system. That's what I like to call it because for me, it's just a, a really fitting and fun metaphor for my planning style and system. I have a lot of planners because for me, this is a creative outlet. It's a creative expression. It works for me. It motivates me. It inspires me. It's fun. So I had 15 different planners last year. These are two of the planners that I used and I kind of want to do a more in-depth video kind of flipping through each planner and sharing with you how I used it, the different spreads that I came up with, uh, my ideas and thoughts behind the planner, what I liked about it, what I didn't like about it, how it evolved throughout the year and um, how I envision um, changing that planner or um, sharing with you what I currently am using in the current year 2022. So we're going to start with this one here. This is an undated vertical Mickey and Minnie planner and something that I didn't realize when I got this planner was that it's very uh, particular to Mickey and Minnie. It's about Mickey and Minnie as like a couple, <laughs> which is totally fine and totally cute. But I got this to be my academic planner for graduate school. And for me, I didn't mind that at all that it was just Mickey and Minnie, but I felt like it wasn't, um, it wasn't super relevant to what I was using the planner for. I actually ended up changing um, my my academic planner for 2022 to an undated Mickey Mouse vertical, so almost exactly the same thing. It's just not um, filled with like Mickey and Minnie as a couple together. I mean, such a small detail, such a fine point, but um, I just felt like changing it up also uh, because I ended up using this planner for another purpose um, as another planner for something else that I'll get to at the end. I'll share with you the planner that I'm currently using in 2022 this year um, at the end of the flip through. So let's just kind of flip through this. So the title page, I put this big uh, Mickey sticker and I just put academic PhD here. I also had a UCSD sticker down here that I tore up and used for something else. So it's kind of uh, messed up here. But I just decorated the cover page and I am uh, getting my PhD at the University of California, San Diego. So that's why I put academic PhD here. And honestly, <laughs> I don't think it makes a lot of sense just writing academic PhD, but these are the only words I could spell with the letters that I had um, in the sticker sheet. So I just put academic PhD here. I didn't even put my name and I put this dream big sticker because for me it's it's such a it's such a dream of mine to achieve a PhD and I want to go even further with it I do eventually want to become a professor at a university and so I'm pursuing that track and it's very hard and sometimes I feel like giving up but you know as long as I have the path laid before me as long as I can continue to move forward I will do so 
Um, so anyways, I started this planner in the month of May. I forget why I didn't start it. Oh, you know what? I, I was actually using um, kind of like a bullet journal for my academic stuff up until this point. And every week I had to kind of map out the weekly uh, layout and every month I had to do the monthly layout. And it was getting to the point that was a little too much work for me. So I decided to switch over to a happy planner where everything is pre-made and pre-outlined and it would save me a lot of that work. So for the monthly overview, um, I had some goals, I had important dates here, I had a gratitude list, and um, I had actually a little journaling section right here. Um, and you'll see how my monthly overview has changed throughout the year, but this was the first month that I used. It was the month of May, and as you can see, uh, all the dividers are very much Mickey and Minnie being super, super cute. So this is the month of May, monthly, and I just use the monthly for important deadlines, um, for work, um, to map out different experiments that I had to do, and any deadlines uh, for, you know, proposals, grants, etc. This was the first week of May that I used this planner for, and I went with a red theme. I had a lot of fun with that one. Then this one was a pastel theme. So actually, I am a honeybee geneticist and behavioral scientist. And so if you'll notice, I have a lot of um, honeybee stickers just kind of splashed throughout the pages because um, I work with honeybees and I think about them all the time. So this was the next week. I went with a yellow honeybee theme, very appropriate. And then this week was a colorful leopard theme. That one was really cute. And then I went with a green theme. And then that was it for the month of May. And then we have the month of June. I had some goals here. I had some kind of like brainstorming for future uh, plans here on the side. And then I used um, the special date section for any important dates. And then we have the June divider, Mickey holding the mini envelope. And then this was uh, the month of June. I actually didn't have a lot going on here because June is the start of the summer uh, quarter for us, and so we have a lot less going on. So this was the first week of June. I used a black and pastel theme. This was just a general rainbow theme. And then this one was fun. I. Um, did an aquarium theme um, using some cute fish stickers I just got and um, yeah I had a lot of fun with this one. I didn't have a lot going on this week so I felt like it was a good time to play around with uh, the spread. And then this was the painterly pastels theme. I, I love the painterly pastels so much. That's these stickers right here. I love the color palette. I actually have the painterly pastels planner for this year. And I so wish that they had come out with a like corresponding sticker book for that planner. So then we have the July overview. I have some goals, important dates, and again, these are more like for the future items that not necessarily I want to get done this month, but things that I kind of want to start kind of addressing. And then we have the month of July. I decorated it a lot with summer stickers. And then I used this uh, Pastel Tropics, I believe the sticker book is called. And then for this one, I just kind of went again with another uh, summer themed spread. Not much going on here as well. And then this was a Glam Girl or a Glam Chic. I forget exactly the name of the sticker book. I think it's Glam Girl. It's, it's such a like a cute diva-ish type aesthetic. And then this spread, I used just a combination of different stickers for like a colorful, um, a colorful spread. And then this one is probably my least favorite spread of them all. I used, I think, a color story spread, but I used like a bunch of different types of stickers for this, and I feel like it was just kind of chaotic. And then we have the month of August. I have my August goals. Um, and I did something different in this monthly overview. Instead of writing like future 
items, I wrote strategies um, to, to write my goal, to, to accomplish my goals. So I wrote my monthly goals here, and then I, here I wrote, the, I used the space to kind of um, map out what kind of strategy I wanted to, uh, to do to complete my goals. And then again, I used this space down here just for important dates. Then we have the month of August. I was on vacation for the first uh, week and a half of August, so a lot of this, um, a lot of the, the the first two weeks of August, I feel were kind of not really used. So this is when the Mickey and Minnie Oasis line came out, and I adored that line. I picked up um, both sticker books and a couple of accessory packs, and so that's what I ended up using these two weeks. I was just playing around with them and I tried to do some stuff over vacation, but honestly it didn't, it didn't ever happen. And so you can see a lot of like blank spaces, blank to-do lists because I just didn't, I didn't do anything on vacation. I mean, you're not supposed to, I don't know what I was thinking, trying to do stuff on vacation. So this is the first week back from vacation. I'm a lot more in my planner. Obviously things are a little bit more, um, you know, filled in, filled out. And so again, I was using the Mickey and Minnie Oasis line. And same for this week, I was still on that Mickey and Minnie Oasis uh, grind. I just love those sticker books so much. And then the last week of August, I used um, purples. I, I just felt like um, playing around with the color purple. And this week, I don't know what was going on, but I was definitely not really in my planner that much. And then we have the month of September overview. So I went back to um, using this section for goals and then this lined section for like thinking about upcoming events. And for some reason, I didn't put any dates down here. I just covered it with a sticker. I don't know why I did that. This is the September monthly. September spread again. I'm still on that Mickey and Minnie Oasis grind and then this spread was interesting I went with a dinosaur spread. I have some dinosaur stickers and I combined that with um, Some uh, jungle vibe stickers as well as some like kawaii stickers I don't know what was going on. This this spread is really random. I'm not sure if I like it very much um, and then this is actually a color block Mickey spread with some Oasis stickers and yeah Something that I've been trying to really figure out about this planner and my use of this planner is how I can best use the Saturday and Sunday um, columns because I honestly try not to work on Saturday and Sunday and so I end up not really needing to use those columns very much when it comes to my work planner um, so I tend, I, I, I was, um, you can definitely see how I've been like trying to fill up that space. I'll like put some larger stickers on those days. Um, but as you can see, I, it tends to be like a waste of space for me. And I've been, um, you'll see as I go on through the months, how I kind of started to change up how I use those two columns. But for me, the vertical style really works wonderfully for work. I think it's perfect. I like using um, the three different sections kind of in a chronological sense, like morning stuff will go up here and then afternoon stuff and then evening stuff. And then something that I love about this planner is that it has this uh, built-in to-do list here on the side and some grid. Um, a grid section up here in case I want to use that for anything. But the to-do section, I love it so much. It's the place where I write down all my weekly to-dos. And then um, these are more like big ticket items for me. Like some of them can be like smaller items that I can do like in an hour, but some of them are items that I'll have to do like multiple hours to complete. And then I'll write it down and then throughout the week, I'll write a little bit more detailed to-do lists about what I need to get done to complete the item that's on my weekly to-do list. So then the next week, I just used again the color block uh, stickers from the Mickey Mouse collection. This is the October overview. I actually didn't do too much here. I didn't write any dates. I didn't brainstorm any future stuff. I just wrote my monthly goals. And then because it was, you know, really the beginning of fall, I used some fall stickers to decorate the monthly and the weeklies. 
And the quarter started for us as well. So as you can see, I have week two uh, kind of written out here in stickers because um, we're on the quarter system. We have 10 weeks in the quarter. And so I like keeping track of the quarters or the weeks in the quarter. So this was week three in the quarter. I used, um, I forget what the sticker book is called. I think it's called uh, Happy Illustrations. There we go. And then I used a blue theme for week four four and then for week five I used Halloween seasonal stickers and then this is a November overview I really like how this one came out I had my monthly goals I also had like an accomplished uh, like place where I could like check it off if I finished it I had some important dates down here and then I decorated with Day of the Dead stickers because it was Day of the Dead on November 1st and 2nd and then for the November overview, I kept on using um, uh, fall type stickers. I used this Woodland Friends sticker pack for the first week in November, week six. Then week seven, I went with like a citrus theme and honeybees. Week eight, I really didn't do too much in my planner. I don't know what was going on week eight, but I was just not in my planner very much. And then week nine, same things. I must have been really busy or um, I don't know. I, oh, you know what was going on here? Yes, this was the week I moved. I moved from my old house to my new house and I was and my my sister and sister-in-law were actually in town visiting. So I was just like not in my planner at all. Um even for work. Week 9 same thing. I was kind of still uh trying to move everything from my old house to my new house. And then this was the first week of December. Week 10, I used a Mickey, I used a gold Mickey theme here. And then we have the month of December overview. I just have my monthly goals here, important dates. And then we have the December monthly, which I used a bunch of Christmas stickers and Mickey stickers. And then here was the first, uh, second week in December. I used um, blue Mickey stickers, and then I used uh, floral Mickey stickers. I had one sheet of these like floral Mickey stickers that I got from an accessory pack. And this week I was super busy, and I guess I just didn't have time to be in my planner too much. So there's that. And then the week of Christmas, um, again, I did do some work like the first couple of days, but I, I, I thought I would be able to like do a few things like um, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, but you know, I just took the day off. So th that's why it's all blank. And then same with here. I thought I would be able to do some things this week, but again, I only did a few things Monday and Tuesday. And then from then on, I just I just, you know, did what I was supposed to do and took some time off. And that was it. That's the last spread that I did in this planner. And I don't, I'm not going to use this planner anymore for my academics. Um, I actually am going to use something very, very similar. This is the Undated Vertical Mickey Planner. And it's almost exactly like this one, except that its dividers aren't specific to Mickey and Minnie. It's just Mickey Mouse. And that feels a little bit more like uh, neutral to me as opposed to this one, which feels more of like, I don't know, like a relationship planner because it has, um, it is, uh, it has all these cute Mickey and Minnie like uh, designs on it, which is adorable. I love them. And I'm actually am going to use this planner um, in 2022, just not for my academic stuff, because I feel like this is more appropriate to be um, a relationship planner. And that's exactly what I'm going to be using it as. I decided to repurpose this planner to be my relationship planner with my boyfriend. So actually me and my boyfriend were together about a year and a half, almost two years before he decided to move to a different state to pursue some like some work stuff. And we had talked about it and we had both felt that uh, we could do long distance for a little bit um, if needed. And so right now we're in a long distance relationship and it was amazing over the holidays. He came back for a whole month to spend with me. And it was amazing because I hadn't seen him for, I think a month at that point. And um, 
And, you know, as we go long distance, uh, there'll be longer and longer stretches of time that we don't see each other. And he actually came up with the idea of having a relationship planner. It was not my idea. I mean, actually, I did have an idea of having a relationship planner like a year ago. And we had gotten a planner. But um, I felt like we didn't really know how to use it as a relationship planner. And so I ended up just changing it to be my, like, my general like memories and scrapbooking planner and um and so and he didn't mind that at all he didn't he was like he's not a planner so like he totally didn't care that I ended up ch deciding to change my mind and um use it for something else but I think he really wanted to make sure that um that you know it was clear that he was very invested in our relationship and so he knows how much I love planners and he had the idea this time to have a relationship planner and um, he said it would like help us, you know, coordinate all our travel because we're going to be traveling back and forth to see each other throughout the years and um, it also help us to kind of like coordinate our schedules so that we can have like, you know, consistent dates, even, you know, being long distance and such. And because this planner is all about Mickey and Minnie and all the motifs are like super cute, I felt like this one would be perfect for our relationship planner. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and use this planner for. And I have a couple of months left in this um, in this planner that I can use for our relationship planner. I actually went ahead and picked up another one of these planners. So um, I got another one of these because I'm almost done with this one. I just have a few months left. And my boyfriend actually picked up the exact same one. So he has this one and now I have this one. And I actually have two of these now because I have this one with my academic stuff in it and then a couple of blank months and then I have a brand new one that I'm going to be using for our relationship. So that is the complete flip through of my academic planner and actually we're at 30 minutes so I think I'm going to go ahead and actually flip through this planner in a separate video so that way um, that way it's just not so long. I don't know why my videos are so long. I just blab so much. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.